Uh, what the hell is wrong with people nowadays? Oh, anyways. Welcome, welcome everybody. This is Victor's Vagging 360 or Victor's Video or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, we just come to this video to the 360 for YouTube. We just pause the music for a while there. And uh, yeah, obviously, this video is just in case you have problems using the wonderful game Prototype 2 with Steam. Uh, I mean, if you have it on Steam with tax mod, so <clears throat> I've seen loads of trouble going through it. Basically, I've uh, had loads of errors. I had crashed the desktop. So, if you are trying to play Prototype 2 on Steam and use tax mod, you might be experiencing loads and loads of problems. So. <clears throat> Especially if you want to use it on Steam and use the text mod and use the additional DLCs that are available on the internet. So <coughs> let's just make this clear. This is not an easy way to do uh, the fix for the prototype Steam. This is what you need to do from start to finish to make sure that 99% of the problems are solved. I'm saying 99 in case something uh, actually is not covered in this video. But yeah, most of the problems are solved by doing this. So you've got prototype 2 on Steam. Yeah, don't look at that. I'm ashamed of it myself. So yeah. <laughs> Basically, all you need to do is right click on the game in the library, go to properties, it will show up with the window like this, and then you go to local files and you click browse local files. <laughs> Make sure you back up the whole folder from Steam in case you do have some important files so that you have a backup. So, yeah, just to um, basically <laughs> make sure you've been warned about it. So, I've already deleted all files from Prototype 2 folder. What the heck? Who put this there? I deleted everything. Okay, let's pretend. Yeah. <laughs> Let us pretend that in your steam folder common prototype 2 you've deleted everything so I'm just going to delete that yep thank you very much get rid of it now so now what we're going to do is from the properties local files tab of steam we are going to verify integrity of game files this will make sure that you install all the game of prototype 2 from fresh start so that is why you need to back up everything just in case you had some important information there. I don't know. Your saves are supposed to be uh, synced through the Steam Cloud, so let's just click that. And we have validate uh, process going on. <laughs> and it will take a while to validate, probably. Um, I don't know. Reallocating, okay, okay, okay. Eight point seven gigabytes, are you kidding? <laughs> All right, so by just using my unmagical powers and non mutant abilities of video editing, I managed to shorten the waiting time. And now we have to wait for the half minute left to wait for the bloody 8.7 gigabyte download time of Prototype 2. Oh, by the way, in the meanwhile, if you want to do something uh, productive while you're waiting for the download, this is what we are going to do. We are going to go to the link that is obviously going to be in description under this video I swear I'm going to find it not forget to put it so this is going to be the link yeah since it's downloading and it's now installing time remaining what okay fair enough 
Let's just go to our favorite browser or not favorite browser, it doesn't really matter. Go to that link. I swear the whole link leads you to the download. So you can see all I did there was uh, just paste the link and be straight away downloaded, no questionnaires, no bloody login requests, nothing like that. You can just open it. And these are your two magic files. Now, if you want to be even more productive, you can probably go uh, to Google. and start searching for text mom which is probably gonna be the very first thing that appears there that we're probably gonna just download it, yep, direct download, no login, no virus hopefully that's correct and hopefully that's what we're gonna get, yep text mode, another archive, which way it is gonna open it has helped to read me there, make sure to have a look at it if you haven't ever tried this software before, but I'm pretty sure you have tried it because otherwise why would you be watching this video? So yes. <coughs> now the final moments come when the prototype tool is almost installed. And looky there. Is it actually installed or are we just cracking this? Oh I'm not gonna wait around, I'm just gonna go to the folder. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have our folder already ready and uh, set up <laughs> for the basic game. Now, what do we need to do? Basically, we need to extract the contents of the folders. So, the enable DLC, uh, I mean archives, not folders. Uh, the enable DLC archive has two files E3D and RCF. We extract both of them. If it asks us to move and replace, which it probably does, we we'll just click move and replace. Thank you very much. Now let's go to text mod and extract the textmod.exe into the prototype 2 folder. Now, what are we gonna do? Well, we are gonna do the exact thing that is advised in the Steam Guide, which is basically a oh, by the way, we can close down the validated Steam files. It's no longer needed. We are gonna rename Prototype 2 to Prototype 2 Original, press enter, and Prototype 2 Engine to Prototype 2 Original engine.dll What's not to like, eh? And now we're gonna rename textmod.exe to prototype to .exe Now, if you wanna try and uh, check it out, you probably will need a real mod so I'm just gonna go to another link it brings us on the same website to the mod I'm kind of crafting myself lovingly and thoughtfully which kind of brings us to this TDF let's do this we we'll copy the file which we downloaded, we paste it there and now we run the prototype 2 through Steam so how do we do it? well nice and easy, we just go to library uh, library and play prototype 2 now what it's gonna do is obviously launch the prototype 2.exe which is now text mod so what we're gonna do is click on this icon there browse Choose prototype 2 original.exe Then click on this little button Browse Choose our mod, whichever one it is 
make sure it's actually there and run the thing <laughs> now previously it will probably crash or give you an error of some sort <clears throat> this time it's actually going to run accordingly with the program Prototype to original Manage run Thank you very much If this happens, just make sure your Steam is up to date, which it probably isn't for me, so let's try and get out of Steam. Exit Steam. So, at the moment it didn't even launch anything, so we'll go to Exit Steam. And then we try to launch it again. We go to library. Updated Steam, there we go, that was the problem, so... That's another cause, in case you're wondering what might have actually gone wrong. You need to have Steam updated at most of the times. And it's the middle of the night when I'm recording this, so uh, yeah. Let me to actually work. Thank you very much. We click play again. We select the prototype to original. We select Mercer Spanish mode. And we click run. And what do you know? Hallelujah! It actually runs perfectly. Yep, there we go. it. Press enter, enter. I'm just gonna click it because I don't like to follow these uh, way they're meant to be followed. So, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Continue. And, and now, if you want to can actually change the skin, go to Red Net, Rewards, Player Skins. And we don't just have Mercer, we actually have Igel Arm on Alex Mercer, which is the thing that I'm looking for in my mod. <laughs> and we are here as Kermit! <laughs> oh yes, kids! This is gonna rock your Alright, so now I better get the hell out before everyone follows back to me. So. Yeah, thanks everyone uh, for watching, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate uh, to ask in the comments, I'll do my best to answer my best ability, and I'll see you later. That was Victor360 or VPZ and I'll see you next time.